my lovelies, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing fantastic. This is the second video of the day, so you're probably gonna see me in the same outfit, although I've kind of tried to do something with my hair. It ain't worked. Anyway, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a review of the Cult Beauty, the Beauty Ball Ball. So I'm just going to obviously, as you can see, I've already unpacked it, but this is what the box looks like. It attaches to your tree. It's very cute. I thought it was very sweet. Um, the reason I got this is because I normally buy the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. Um, this year I just couldn't afford it. Being very honest and open with you, I couldn't afford it. £235 was an awful lot of money. Um, today's the 1st of December, so I normally would open it today and be like, oh, it's Christmas. What's in the first box? But I just couldn't. I couldn't afford it. And I know that they've obviously put it, I think they put the price down. I think it's like 190 or 200 pounds or something at the minute. Still, that's such a lot of money. And I have more than me and Gary to think of now. I've got RJ to think of. So yes, it just, it was out of my budget. So instead I treated myself to the Beauty Ball Ball, which cost me 25 pound. So I thought that's quite a nice little treat. Um, even if it isn't, you know, the full Cool Beauty Advent calendar. So, in here is I think there's £75 worth of beauty products. Now, as you can see from the little whoop that I did, that's probably, look, hopefully that looks nice. Um, the, the nude sticks, the little nude sticks thing that they added in actually was meant to be full size. So they emailed after and allowed you to buy, well, allowed you to get a full size nude sticks of your choice because the sunset strip that they put in there was the wrong size so i've got this little like i'd say it's like a little mini tester i mean it's still cute and um, it does a job you can take it on holiday with you but it's not a full size product so they made well they let me obviously and everybody else who bought this product and got the little mini nude sticks they allowed us to get a nude sticks of our choice so i went with the naughty and spice so you know i love nude sticks I'm a huge sucker for nude sticks, to be honest, that's the reason. That and the Natasha de Denona palette was the reason I purchased this, because I thought two products, two brands that I love, and yeah. So there we go. So now I've got two nude sticks for the price of, you know, this is £30. So this costs more than the bauble, really. So it's exciting. But there we are. So there's that. Obviously, if you love the nude strip, the sunset strip, it's a really beautiful, like, shade. It would look great as a, like, lip product. It would look great as a blusher. Um, it's an all-over face. You can really diversify your looks with this. Um, I would say, obviously, with the full size. Um, it's a stunning, it's a stunning shade. Like, that, for me, is very much summer. It's not winter at all. But beautiful. Um, if you want to see what Naughty and Spice looks like, by the way, I have got that on, but I will just, it's a bit more like pinky, um, it's very much a um, neutral pink shade, which I really wanted, um, just for this time of year, because normally I go with more peachy tones, more nudey tones, I wanted something a bit more pinky, so I went with Naughty and Spice. What else was in there was the Better Than Sex Mascara, I actually do already have a mini a miniature of this because this was in last year's Court Beauty Advent Calendar, a little tester, and it's a really nice mascara actually, I'm not going to put this on because I don't want to have to take this off tonight, but it's, it actually is really nice, it does work. Um, I do think for the price, however, you can get more affordable mascaras for your money. I know the Maybelline one, I think it's the Maybelline one that everyone's raving about on TikTok. I'll definitely try that because that is cheaper and I think you get better payoff. This clumps my lashes a little bit and um, I do have to go in with a, um, a clean mascara brush just to brush through my lashes. I find that with a lot of, a lot of mascaras. Um, so it's nice. But it's not something I, I wouldn't buy the full size one of these. Then you have the Iconic London Illuminator, which I have never tried. You know, I have just done a Iconic London Skin Tint Tinted Moisturiser review. How cute is that? I mean, great for travel sizes, right? Like, put in your little makeup bag, put in your bag for work. I think, actually, it's really lovely. 
and it's a nice colour. Although, you know what? I really wish brands would stop putting in like like um pinky tinted anything or like silky look at that now that's nice but that for me would look it looks too light on my skin i want gold why is there not like a goldy one um i do think that when brands do these sorts of things they need to consider different skin tones because and give you options so if you've got olive skin, darker skin, I do think they should do categories. They should do boxes that, you know, you will have a product in there, like this, for instance, that would match your skin. Like this, that's too light for me. Like I, it's cute, but that's not the right shade for me. I think I'd struggle with that. Um, like I need a more bronzy, goldy toned illuminator. That just looks yeah that's not right so i really wish brands would do that i mean i don't know if you agree but yeah anyway this is what i really wanted to get to because i'm super excited about this tasha denona eyeshadows are like gold dust they are stunning her packaging is just so simple so sleek because her product does all the talking I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. And there's just like all those tones I would wear. Like that's the type of palette I want. I want a palette where, you know, you've got two matte shades, three shimmer shades. And, you know, those matte shades, those shimmer shades match the matte shades. And you can wear them individually. You can wear them together. That is just honestly gorgeous. And that alone makes this pack, this bauble worth it because I would put that in my bag, I'd take that on holiday, I'd wear that every day and it literally is just five shades and I would, that would be my go-to palette. Gorgeous. But yes, you know what, that was just, I just wanted to show you what was in the Christmas bauble and if they've still got it in stock, I'll pop it in the link in the description below for you because... Honestly, a few of these products are fantastic. I mean, I know I said about the illuminator, but if, if actually that matches your skin tone, I mean, that's not budged off my hand. And I do think you could really build on that and it would look nice like, as a highlight on your face, as a contour for your like shoulder blades, whatever. That's just not the right tone for me. And I got on my high horse about it, so sorry about that. But yes. That is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy 1st of December. I'm going to be doing Vlogmas, so be sure to be tuning in every week for a vlog. Um, I started filming today. I have a lot coming up uh, and I'm super, super excited and I'm hoping that I can really nail it for the first time in my entire life of doing Vlogmas. Every time I say I do Vlogmas, <laughs> I never actually end up doing Vlogmas because something crops up. So, yes. Hopefully it's a, su it's a success. So, yes. Give the video a big thumbs up. I don't know if I've already said that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>